It is the biggest food holiday of the year, Thanksgiving. Most of us obsess about it, either making the right recipe or worried we're going to put on a pound or two. Food coach Lori Corbin has tasty tips from health experts on how to survive it but still enjoy it. Thanksgiving is a time about family, friends, and food, and nobody wants to think about dieting. And yet many worry about overdoing it. But weight loss specialist Dr. Adrian Udim has some easy tips to help you dial back indulgence. It may seem a little counterintuitive, but I recommend that people make a high protein shake right before they head out the door. The protein signals to your brain uh, fullness. She likes whey protein shakes made with produce that take the edge off hunger with 17 grams of protein and about 150 calories if you watch the extras. Perfect before heading off to a big feast. If you're starving, then there's really no room for portion control or good decision making. Heart surgeon Dr. Stephen Gundry wants you to think about quality ingredients. He likes poultry on a grass-fed diet and recommends heritage or kosher turkeys for good quality meat. For stuffing, he chooses the nutty tasting grain millet over overly processed white bread stuffing. Still using traditional herbs, spices and good olive oil. I've been a huge proponent of good fats long before fat was back in. A nice dose of olive oil in his stuffing and in his Brussels sprouts that he swaps for the old green bean casserole, adding these extras to his dish. Some walnuts or hazelnuts, and then add a dash of sesame oil, which just brightens up the flavor. And this might shock you, but Dr. Gundry would like you to replace your white flour for your gravy and instead replace it with coconut flour, wine, and heavy cream. Coconut flour will thicken exactly like flour. In fact, you actually need less to thicken because it absorbs so much water. It also contains less carbs or sugar, while the heavy cream from grass-fed cows means a good source of fat. Udeem says you can successfully it. watch weight if your plate has a quarter portion protein and a quarter portion starch, then fill the rest with veggie dishes. And before dessert, have a hot beverage to savor that meal. It takes food about 20 minutes to get to the gut and probably another 10 minutes before it starts signaling those hormones that were full. Lori Corbin, ABC7. I